How you doing guys? It's Kevin. I'm back with another project. Uh, a little while back I made a pallet pry bar to pull pallets apart with. And this is what I came up with. And it was it's actually pretty heavy duty and it works really well. But I think I found an easier way to make one that might work out just as good or maybe better. So I'm going to build it today and I'm going to take you guys along with me. Uh, I got some old scrap metal. I got an old piece of pipe here. Let me show you what I got to work with here. Okay, this is what I got to work with. Now, I just laid uh, my I laid my bar down like this. And then I took a piece of cardboard and I traced a little pattern out of that. And I went up in the barn and I got a piece of flat steel here. And I was going to take it, lay it on there and trace it out and cut it. Now, this uh, bar that I'm going to make is only going to consist in one of these. And then we're going to take a piece of round bar and stick it through this here somewhere, through that piece of steel, and weld it in there. So instead of having two of these, instead of having two of these, we're only going to have one with a bar going through it. And we're hoping that this thing will work and not slip off. And uh, I got a piece of just old pipe here, and we're going to cut it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, getting this thing cut up and welded together. I don't think it's going to be a very big project. It should be easy for just about anybody to make this. Now I also have another piece of steel here. I think that might be three quarter. I don't know if I'm going to use this piece of round bar or this piece of round bar here. I haven't figured it out yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. So the first thing, which I think is probably going to be my hardest thing to do, is uh, cut this piece here out. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing marked so I can get cutting on this thing. And I'm just going to trace out, and this is one of the same uh, arms that I used on my other one there. So it worked pretty well on that one, so I don't see why it wouldn't work on this one here. So all we got now is it's all traced out so we'll just take I guess I'll take a four inch grinder I could use the plasma cutter on it but I'm gonna try a four inch grinder to cut some of this up and see what happens Now, <clears throat> I cut the whole entire thing with a 4 inch grinder. That's the only tool I used. I was going to use a plasma cutter, but not everybody has a plasma cutter. I just wanted to show you that this piece could be cut with just a 4 inch grinder. Okay, what I've done here is I marked this up just where this one is, because this one seemed to work really good. So I marked that one up to there, and then put my little bar on there, traced it out, and now I'm going to drill a hole. This piece is five, uh, no, seven eighths. You don't really need that thick a piece of steel, I don't think. I think three quarters would work fine. But since I already got this one cut and cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and drill this five eighths, and get this slid in there, and weld it into place. Okay, we got our pin to fit in there now. You see the pin fits pretty good. We'll make sure it's square on there. I'll check it out and make sure it's square. I'll put a square on just to make sure. I put it in the drill press. It should be pretty square. Now we're going to work on the piece of pipe that we're going to cut to fit down on top of here and weld it in. So we'll weld this on and this pin in at the same time. So we'll go ahead and get the pipe. I'll show you the pipe we're going to be working with. Now, none of this steel is new steel. This is old uh, garbage, pretty much steel. We're going to clean up this cut on this end. 
or one we'll clean both cuts up we'll make two nice cuts and then we're going to slice it down the side so we can weld it to that so it'll be kind of like a little slot <clears throat> i took that piece of metal back out of that hole and i'm going to put some little grooves in here just so it won't slip off of the two by four so i'm just going to take my angle grinder with the cutoff wheel and i'm going to make some grooves We'll do both sides like that. Okay, how I'm going to fit the handle on there is what I did is I took the distance that this plate is going down. I'm going to make a cut down through here on both sides so this fits inside of it. Now I'm just using the 4 inch grinder. Most of this work here, almost everything I've done so far can be used, just use a four inch grinder and drill a hole. And if you could do that, then you can make this tool. All right, you can see where I got the slot cut in both sides. Both sides are slotted. So this thing now is gonna fit down in my slot. That may be a little tight, but we'll give it a little tap and get it down in there. Try to center it up the best we can so we have the equal amount of metal on both sides. Okay, now this thing here, this round dowel we got in here, as you can see, it just spins in there. We want to try to keep the dowel, these teeth that I cut on here, in the same angle as this. Because this is going to go up underneath your board, and this is going to sit on your tube before. So if you was to spin it one way or the other, even that way, you got to have it straight with this here. So they're actually tilted a little bit. And we'll go ahead and get this welded up, and we're going to give it a try. And hopefully, uh, we'll see this thing work. I'm not so sure that this piece up here has to be that thick, but... I made it that thick. I probably could cut that down a little bit more, this piece here, so I can get it in a smaller crack. But uh, I think right now I'm just going to leave it alone because I can always cut it off. It's, uh, it's there. I, I'm, it's not hurting anything. So I think I got everything lined up. I'll go ahead and get this welded together. me for these and I'm like man if I had to send this thing I couldn't imagine what it cost to send that thing because it's super heavy now this one here it's a lot lighter it's not as heavy uh, definitely not as heavy as this one here so now I just took the new one out and I just run some water over because it, it was super hot and I'm gonna try it now I only have one pallet to try this thing on and you guys are going to see it, whether it works or whether it doesn't work, because I've never tried it on anything. As you can see, it's still wet from where I cooled it off. And like I said, I only have one pallet, so we're going to have to try it on this pallet and see how it works. Now, this pallet is pretty broke up, but it was the only one I could find to try to tear apart. If you look at some of the edges, it's got a lot of splits and cracks in the wood, but we're going to try to do our best on getting some wood off um, as nice as we can. Because that's the whole thing about building a tool is trying to get them off. If you can't get them off, well, they're really not worth anything. So we'll try right here. I'll start right here first. And I'm just going to slide it up in, kick it into slot, and push down. I'll slide it over here, put it in there. As you can see it broke that one but I figured I was going to have a few of these broke 
it seems to be working. Uh, but it kind of broke it up. I mean, if you need some small pieces of wood like this pallet here, we'll try another one. This ain't the greatest pallet, but uh, just wanted to try this thing and see if it can take it off. I think this might be a, um, <laughs> it might even be an oak pallet. It's pulling them off. Yeah, it's doing the job. It's not slipping off. I was afraid that this would be twisting over. I was afraid it would be twisting. But it seems like if I just put it up against there and give it a push, it takes it off. I'm going to do both ends. Somebody said that in one of my videos. Try breaking both ends first. It's not slipping off. Hopefully, the little teeth that we cut in here, those little teeth is why I put the teeth on there is so it would hold that, hold to the 2x4. So, let's give another one a try. Nobody wants to sit here and watch me tear apart pallets, but I wanted to see if this thing would work because it's so much lighter than the other one. work and we're taking the lids off no problem at all I could like I said cut a little bit more off of this if I needed to pallet bar was definitely a lot easier to build than the last one. The last one had a lot of welding on it. it had to, I was trying to get it go between the two befores and then once I started using it, it would do anything as big as a two before, but if it was bigger than a two before, I really couldn't do it. So this one here, I don't have to be, I could just run it on the side of the board, which helps out a lot having these two pins in, or this pin going across. And like I said, this is much easier to build than the last one. Just about anybody could build this. All you got to do is have a grinder, a four inch grinder with a cutoff wheel and the grinding wheel and a welder pretty much. That's all I use. Well, drill. You have to drill the hole. And this dowel, I was going to use a 7 8 dowel, but I couldn't find my 7 8 drill bit. So I ended up putting a three quarter inch dowel in there and it seems to be working just fine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.